Dit is Papa Alfa 0, Eco Tingo, Eco voor de Daily Minutes met een nieuwsupdate van vandaag, 18 maart 2016. Dat is het bulletin van vrijdag. Omdat er redelijk wat gesproken wordt over de IC7300, die als het goed is morgen ook op de radio Vlooienmarkt in Rosmalen te zien zal zijn, vandaag wat meer informatie over het apparaat. Dat is helaas wel in het Engels, maar andere informatie was zo snel niet beschikbaar. We beginnen zo dadelijk met een stukje van Pete Waters van het bedrijf Waters Stanton en Chris Ridley van Ecom UK. Daarna volgen Ray Novak van Ecom USA en George Thomas in de webshow Ham Nation. Bij deze geluidsmontage ligt de focus vooral op de mogelijkheden en de functionaliteit van de nieuwe SDR transceiver. I mean, this is this is really a sort of turning point for ICOM in terms of HF communications, isn't it? It is. Yeah. I mean, I've worked for ICOM for. I've been getting on for 24 years now, and I would say this was the biggest sort of game changer ICOM have produced. Really, it's such a leap forward from conventional super head technology that uh, they've been using up until now. Yeah, I mean, software-defined radio is is not new, but I think the new uh, thing, as far as ICOM is concerned, and in fact, as far as uh, Ham radio is concerned, is that they've actually put it into a small box and produced right. a high performance radio. No computers, no, no, no need external computers, no wires, you can just pick it up and take it to where you like. Yeah, I think that is the big step forward. As you say, STRs have been around for uh, quite a few years now, but they normally need a computer attached to them. Uh, but this you can just pick up and put it in a car or use it mobile just on its own. Yeah, I mean, the main thing is uh, that hits you first is the features. Um, for a radio in the, the price for this price range, um, you've got a lot of features that generally you normally only get on the top of the range model, particularly the, uh, the real-time band scope, waterfall display, audio scope, audio um, spectrum display. Mm -hmm. um, they all work amazingly well. Uh, receiver performance also strikes you as soon as you plug an aerial into it. You think there's something wrong with your aerial because it's so <laughs> quiet. Um, and it's not because it's not very sensitive, it's just the, the, the DS, the, the signal processing. Um, it, it just brings through the signals and uh, uh, the noise seems to just disappear. It's, yeah, um, yeah. it's fantastic. Because oh, well, uh, the, the display is touch, isn't it? Touch it's screen. a touch screen, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it's one of these radios you don't really need to keep referring to the handbook. You can just uh, uh, press a button, not do any harm, and that becomes a menu. Um, you've got a setup menu where you can customise it to suit your own requirements, but after that, um, the simpler menus just that you might want to adjust every day, like the output power, mic gain, things mm -hmm. like that. But uh, very easy to use, and you say you don't have to keep referring to the handbook. Well, I'm sure that will appeal to a lot of amateurs because uh, I know one of the things that amateurs are famous for, or perhaps men are famous for, is uh, not wanting to open the manual but uh, trying yeah, to that's work about it out right, themselves. Yeah. Uh, I do remember when I looked at the 7100 the first time I couldn't figure out how to change uh, bands and suddenly realised I was looking at a, 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 touch, a touch screen. <laughs> and of course this has got a nice colour screen on it, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. This yeah. Radio. Yeah. And it's got, the auto, it's got an auto ITU built-in. It's got built built-in auto ITU which is um, it's sort of a switchable uh, L, L match. Yes. Um, so yeah. it will match up to 10 to 1 at reduced power. Right. And because we've we got, we got four metres on it as well? Four metres, 50 watts 50 out watts, four. Which, which, yeah. will, which will appeal to a lot of people. It should be. Should do. So yeah. we've got a, we, we're looking at a radio which really is cutting new, new ground uh, in, in ham radio. Um, one that covers uh, 160 through to 6 metres, 100 watts out. It's 100 watts out on 6, is it? 100 on 6, yeah. yeah. And then yeah. Uh, the band that um, appeals to a lot of people in Europe, 4 metres, we get 50 watts on that band. Let's turn it around now and get a little look at uh, the front of it here. So, at first glance, this looks an awful lot like my uh, IC7700. Yes, sir, it does. But one of the nice things that you can do on this one is when you select the band that you want to go to, you just touch the screen. Oh, wow. And you just go straight to it, man. Your different modes. Yeah. So it, it's color touch green. Yes, sir. And so so that cut down on the number of knobs that we need on the front of it, for we, sure. We also have a multifunction button that when you press it, it brings up a menu. Okay. You select the item that you want to adjust, so we can adjust the RF power. Yeah. 
So the user interface is very intuitive on what, what you want to do with it. And so it, th the the rest of the knobs and buttons on here are what you typically see on on any rig, your RF gain, your AF gain, um, twin pass band tuning. Yes, sir. And that, that's one of the interesting things. While it's a software, a direct RF sampling uh uh, SDR, mm -hmm. we keep a lot of the, the look and feel of your traditional ICOM radio. So when you're used to going to the twin pass band tuning in the same direction, it brings up your IF shift. If you go in the opposite directions, it narrows down the pass band. Mm -hmm. Or you select the filter just by touching, or if you press and hold. Oh, then you get to to fine tune that filter. Right. I mean, you can come in here and change the bandwidth as tight okay. as fifty hertz, or all the way out to three points or thirty six hundred. Okay. But if any time you go, well, what was it originally? You can just hit the default button and it puts it back to normal. You've got your contouring for soft or a sharp filter. So it's more or less. All of that's very similar to, to the bigger uh, ICOM rigs, the 7600, 7700. User interface here would be very familiar to me. Right. I mean, I, I, I recognize what I'm looking at, right? So what kind of different screens? Can you just show us a few different screens on the front? Okay, well, exit out of the, the filters. This has got your scope. And we don't have an antenna on it right now, so we're not seeing any activity. Right, but when you do touch the scope, it will then zoom into a certain area, and then you can fine tune where okay. you want to where you want to go to in that band. You also have a complete menu system. That okay. while we Gordo was talking about SWR, uh, introduced in the IC seven thousand was an SWR sweep. So mm -hmm. you would set up your tuning step that you want to go, and each time you keyed the push to talk, the radio would transmit low power and do a sampling of your SWR, and you could kind of map out what your SWR curve looked like. Uh, your your voice keyer, your different transmit memory locations for it. All right, so it has a voice keyer built in. Yes, sir. Actually. Three point six eight seven one one USB. So, voice announcement of the frequency mm -hmm. is built in. Um, now, it, does it have the audio scopes and some of the newer functions that's been added in the recent uh, firmware on some of the bigger rigs? Yes, sir. It does. You've got your where you can take a look at your audio. Bel 033-457-0711 als je ook in de uitzending wilt. Je belt nu met de listener call in van de Daily Minutes MPA 00 Nieuws. Je kunt hier bericht kwijt dat eventueel rechtstreeks in de uitzending kan worden uitgezonden. Het nummer is 033-457-0711-457-0711. Bedankt voor de leuke uitzending van de Daily Minutes. Ik vond het erg leuk en interessant om de oude uitzending van Robbie Scope uit 1978 te beluisteren. Ook was het stuk van de radiocontroledienst erg interessant. Verder wil ik de groeten doen aan OM3GPP, Jurgen. Tot morgen. Ook zal ik morgen om 12 uur aanwezig zijn bij de stem van Misha. Groeten van luisteramateur Bas uit Den Bosch.